Balloons were in the sky tonight in honor of 16-year-old D.J. Washington of Gainesville. He was struck by a vehicle Monday afternoon after getting off an RTS bus. TV20's Rural Flood is here to tell us the one thing that left a lasting mark on Washington's loved ones. D.J. was hit along Southwest 20th Avenue and then rushed to the hospital. But unfortunately, he died three days later from his injuries. I just want my baby to know I love him. A best friend, a brother, and a respectable young man. That's how DJ is described by those who were closest to him. He's just well-mannered, very respectful. Anything I needed him to do, he did it. Um, just a joy to have with his jokes and joys he brings to the family. DJ was the oldest of four siblings, and his friends say he set a good example. DJ, he was doing his own thing. Like he just, all he wanted to do was play basketball. Like. He was a good kid. I mean, he had good grades. He was a 10th grader at Buholtz High School. We'd always just sit down and laugh. I'd come sit with him at Esmeralda at lunch. We'd come talk about stuff. And treated his friends like family. Everybody loved him. They was like more so of brothers, you know, than friends. So everybody thought he was just amazing, which he was. Candles were lit and balloons were released at the altar made for DJ on Southwest 20th Avenue. I missed him though, like... And I was just I was just playing basketball with him the other day, like, and then boom, this came, this happened, like, this crazy. Amen. Amen. DJ played basketball almost every day after school to emulate his idol, Stephen Curry. DJ's family just wants people to know to wait 15 seconds while driving behind buses because tragedies like this one can be avoided. Reporting live in the studio, Ruba Flood, TV20 News.